Hey guys, what's up? So, I know I haven't done any YouTube videos in a good while, but figured I'd start, try to maybe see if I get this channel rebooted. Um, so my original intent was for Cooler Creations that when I originally did it, was that I was actually going to have it be a channel where I can kind of get out there and just sell stuff and maybe just make these cool, awesome coolers and just kind of see if I can get rid of them and maybe make a little profit off them. Uh, sadly, that didn't work out too well. But what I really want to do is now is just kind of maybe make the channel to where maybe I can maybe do a bit of an infomer, like a DIY maybe. Um, and as you can see, yeah, I am wearing my Astros cap. Just go Astros, go Stros. Um, and of course, Houston, Texas, baby, all the way. But uh, yeah, basically what I wanted to show today was basically a cooler that I've had built for a while. Uh, I think it's probably been maybe three years, maybe even four. Uh, essentially, basically... So, the reason why I built this one, and I'll show it to you right now, this is actually it. Yeah, essentially it's a nice little cooler. It's got two six and a halfs, one on each side, the marine speakers built. Um, I am, and I'll pair that up with a nice little 100 watt boss amp. And I also have a small little deer feeder battery, or a gate battery. You can actually find these batteries at Home Depot, Academy, and I believe maybe, maybe even little small mechanic shops, uh, you know, O'Reilly's, AutoZone. But mostly where I've been seeing them at is basically uh, Academy and I mean uh, Home Depot, and even uh, what was it called Lowe's. But yeah, essentially. So, and what we have here is these two six and a halfs right here, marine grade speaker, of course. I got these at Academy. They're like twenty bucks. And as you can see, I've already sealed them off pretty good. And mind you, I've had these things for four years. We just took it to the river in about two weeks, maybe even a week ago. And she, they held up, man. They This thing is not something that floods. And literally, I probably have a few droplets of water all spread out throughout the whole boom box. But literally, like, it's pretty good. It holds, holds up. And let me see if I can flip it over to the other side. Yeah, it's just the phone pairing up. And yeah, and then this of course is the other side. She looks pretty good, sounds pretty good. And yeah, let me actually see if I can get her started here. Let's see, we're gonna listen to, I guess apparently something by David Guetta. That of course is volume up all the way. And let's see if we can even manage it from here. I know you probably can't see it too well. We're gonna actually turn up the level. You probably get about three quarters of it, and it sounds okay. Anything after that is a little bit definitely too loud, and it definitely distorts the uh, speaker a little bit. But yeah, and the only problem that I've really had with this amp is the fact that the connections in the back are a little bit loose sometimes, and it will cause it to shut off. But I'm actually gonna be probably dropping uh, dropping a receiver in this thing. I found I've seen some over there at Walmart for probably about 30 bucks online. Of course, that would be me having to order them. They actually don't have any in stock that are that low on price. But the reason why I would drop something that cheap into this is just because if and when it ever does definitely go in the water, hey, you also have something to uh, you know you you can be definitely okay with losing that. You know because it's just 20, 30 bucks and it's nothing like. Oh man, you know, I lost 60 bucks or 100 bucks, and it's like, how'd you lose it, bruh? And then they're like, I dropped it in a cooler that I made into a boom box that I, you know. <laughs> um, but yeah, sincerely, and, and that was part of the reason. Oh yeah, and that cooler in the back, I will be showing that in probably a later video. Uh, but as of right now, I'm just kind of going to leave it alone. But yeah. And essentially, like I said, um, you know, I wanted to really get this thing built uh, and show it to y'all when I first started doing the channel, but I was a little bit scared only because I just started with this, and I, was, I, was, I wasn't too sure of how this was actually going to turn out, because my main thinking was, okay, what if this thing just fails and flat out everybody, you know, we get like 10 people on the channel, or 5 people on the channel even, or even one person on the channel that just goes and builds this and is like, you know, messaged me and like, hey man, I went down to the river and that thing absolutely just sunk. 
and I'd be like, I'm sorry, bro. <laughs> so I, I, de I definitely didn't want it to turn into that. And so I actually ended up, uh, you know, building it myself. And like I said, this thing's been built for about three to maybe four years now. I built it back in about maybe 2014, 2015-ish. And like I said, I built it out to the trip to the river here, and I went out to the Comal River here in Texas. And if you don't know anything about the Kamal, the Kamal has like three chutes, and which I could probably describe as them being a little rough in the sense that I have flipped my tube over twice in that river out of maybe going there about five or six times. Um, mind you, that is five to six times. Multiply it maybe by times three to four because I jump in that. I, I jump in the river quite often when I go. I'm not one of these guys who just like, man, I only do one ride down the river and, you know, that's it for me. But yeah, this thing honestly is never flipped in its tube. Um, and I use this little place called Texas Tubes. They're not paying me for it, but I do recommend them. Go check them out. They're pretty cool over there in the Kamal. But uh, yeah, and I've taken this thing down there a few times. Um, you know, definitely I wouldn't recommend storing any cold things in it just because of the fact that, I mean, you have your whole system going in there if you do build this. And yeah, but like I said, I mean, it's fairly easy to build. Uh, nothing too complicated. You, you know, you get the speakers from Academy. They're waterproof. You know, I'm sure you could find them else at a few other sports and outdoors places that would sell speaker, marine grade speakers for like boats and whatnot. Because um, that's honestly what these are used for. They're used for boats. And the battery, like I said, is a deer feeder slash gate battery. You can find them at Lowe's. You can find them at Home Depot. Um, those are probably about another 20, 30 bucks, along with speakers being 20 bucks at Academy. The Boss Amp I found off of Amazon for maybe about another good 20, 30 bucks. Uh, I will see if I can post the links below. So y'all can find all that stuff and kind of put it together. And the cooler itself, uh, I believe it's probably like 15 bucks. I know at Sam's right now, I just went probably about a few hours ago and I saw them for like 15, 14 bucks. Um, so, you know, you can definitely get one there. And uh, the way I basically tore the holes was I actually used a Dremel. And uh, just Dremel the hole out. And so, that was another thing I meant to, forgot to mention. And so, when you get your speakers from Academy, you're going to notice a lot of cardboard. And when you get that cardboard, you're going to notice this portion of it which is meant for like the back of the speaker and it kind of already has a pre-cut circle well what you're going to do is you're going to use that pre-cut circle and you're actually going to place that piece of cardboard against the hold on, green part right here once you place it right here go ahead and get in there with like a sharpie marker or a light pencil and then kind of do that little circle real quick in it trace the circle and then from there basically just cut it out and once you basically have cut it out you're pretty much good to go. And like I said, I mean, this all together cost me maybe about a hundred bucks or so. And yeah, I, I know a hundred bucks to some people is a bit much, but the reason why I built it was sincerely just because of the fact too that I said, you know, I told myself, I was like, look, Brandon, you know, I can, I can spend a hundred bucks and, you know, have something that I can use for a lifetime or I can spend a hundred bucks and have something that I can just use for maybe a year or two because I know you can probably buy an Altec I know you can probably buy a Sony boombox and you know they can be all this great and, you know hey you know you can spend 100 200 bucks and they'll last you for you know however long it is but the thing with those is that if you buy them and you pay the 100 200 bucks the speaker goes out in one side of it or you know god forbid the Bluetooth stops working or the audio cable that you're trying to keep on reconnecting in that little port there that port goes out or whatever happens to it you know that happens you're gonna be really just out of a uh, good speaker and so that that's why I like this you know I built it just because of the fact I said hey you know I told myself one day I was like hey man the speaker goes out I can replace it uh, the amplifier goes out all I gotta do is go back on to Amazon and find one um, and if the battery ever goes out of course which I mean it will because it's a battery uh, you know I can definitely replace it myself too and I know in a lot of things like the uh, you know the Altec speakers the Sony speakers Raven you know a lot of these other brands you can't do that and like I said I know in this you can so uh, yeah but basically you know I just wanted to show this uh, say a little bit about it and just kinda let y'all know uh, where I've basically been with this channel like I said, I do want to start over back up. I still have hopes for getting this channel back up and running. But, yeah, I mean, we'll definitely see what happens. Who knows? Um, and like I said, I will be having this big guy on there soon.
that no. there we go <laughs> yeah and uh until then peace out